Hello, this is Liz with Stampin' on the Rock. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a masking technique, masking idea, I guess. Um, there are lots of masks, not masks that you would wear on your face. We're not going to go there. Um, this is a mask, a decorative mask, and this is what this one looks like that I'm going to be using tonight. This is from the pack Artistic Mix Decorative Masks. It seems like each catalog comes out has like another set of masks, so they're all going to be used about the same way. This one, um, this is, like I said, this is Artistic Mixed Decorative Mask. This is in the annual catalog, the larger one. And there's a whole um, collection of them. There's four different, four, five, five different ones in here. Some of them can be used um, on their own, and then others you can put on top of each other. Um, we're just going to set that aside, and we're just going to be using this one for tonight, for today, sorry. Uh, let's see, we're going to use a whole bunch of different ink colors, so I'm just going to show you those right here. We'll be using crushed curry. This one here is pumpkin pie. This one is real red. This one is garden green. And then we'll also be using early espresso. The stamp set that I'll be using is Season of Chic. And this is in the annual catalog. It's not a new one, but it's a great one. Sometimes I think we get really excited about those mini catalogs, and then we forget about all the great stuff that's in the bigger annual catalog. So that annual catalog is good for till. April, May, somewhere in there, so a while. But if you've been just trying to kind of focusing on that mini catalog, pull out the annual one. Or if you're going on stampinontherock.com, you'll see everything there anyway, okay? The nice thing I like about this stamp set is it covers all seasons. I will say when I first looked at it, what popped out to me were the seashells. So I was thinking it was like a summery set. But it has flowers for the spring. It has seashells for the summer. And there are leaves here for the fall. And then there's a snowflake for... Uh, winter time so it covers all seasons which is really nice it's not one you have to kind of put aside because it's not that season anymore okay so I'll be using season of chic um, I will also be adding in some embellishments brushed metallic adhesive backed dots um, I think that's it for that my pieces that I'll be using this one is basic white and the measurement is, um, I didn't write it down, but I can tell you right now, right now. Um, the basic white is three and three fourths by five, three and three fourths inches by five inches. This piece of garden green is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then this pumpkin pie is the eight and a half by 11 cut in half and it's already been scored. Um, let's see, do I have a bone folder right here? Maybe I do not. Oh, okay, I don't have a bone folder right here, but that's okay. Just for one card, you can just press it with your finger. It's just if you're doing a whole lot of them, the bone folder definitely saves uh, the skin on your finger. Okay, so let me do that. I'm going to see if I can add in a little extra light here because I forgot to add my light. Let's see if that helps at all. I think that, there you go. I think that's a little bit brighter for you. Okay, so. That's the pumpkin pie piece. I just folded that in half. We're going to set that aside for now. Actually, I'm going to just take this garden green one. And let's go ahead and we can just attach that to our base. So I'm just going to eyeball that up. Then it's about even on all sides. There you go. Okay, so that's what we have at this point. I'm going to set that aside. And let's pull out the basic white piece. Again, this is 3 and 3 fourths by 5 inches. All right. I'm going to open up all of my ink pad colors. Crushed curry, pumpkin pie. Keep those with that. Real red. And garden green. Okay, we're going to open those up. If this is something that's new to you, these are blending brushes. The blending brushes come uh, three in a pack, and they are, there's regular size. Let me grab a mini one. I can show you that. There is a regular size like this, and then there's the minis. Okay? Why would you need both sizes? You could do what you're trying to do with one size. Um, sometimes you're trying to, like if you want to, do just a small area of something, then you could use this little tiny one. It can get into little areas. This is more if you're using kind of a brush stroke and you want to get larger area, the regular size is great. 
but if you're trying to just get color into just one small area, these little mini ones are great for that. They are just super, super soft. Right now I wash them so they kind of look like they're separated, but once it completely dries, it will go back to all being kind of together. And it is just so soft to touch these and uh, they're great for just add another way to add color to your projects, okay? All right, so I'm going to take my basic white piece underneath here and I'm laying this mask over top. For this one, because of what the pattern, pattern is, I want to make sure this line here isn't, isn't right there on the end of my paper. Because when I go to lift this up, then I'm going to have a, a blank, like a border around there, and I don't really want that. So I'm moving this down a little bit so that it's off. Can you see that? So that the line right here is not right on the end of my paper. If you want to, you can use masking, uh, like, like a masking masking why am i not thinking the word um anyway some kind of a tape that you can put here i don't know why that word's not coming to me but a little tape that you can put on the ends here washi tape that's what i was trying to say you can put a little piece of washi tape on the corners here to hold that down i'm actually just going to hold it with my hands because what i'm doing is like a rough kind of adding color to it it doesn't have to be exact but if you want it to be a little more exact you might want to tape your corners up okay so i'm just going to take my brush here and I'm going into the yellow, the crushed curry, and I'm going to start off. You always want to start, you don't want to start directly on it. Or you end up with this blob of ink that you don't really want. I'm just going to tap off a little excess, and I'm starting off my paper. So start off, and I'm just brushing in. Okay, and that's it there. I'm just holding on to it, and I'm going to go into my orange or my pumpkin pie. We're just going to dab off just the edge. We don't want it to be like an exact line of where it starts. So I'm actually starting in the yellow. And I'm just going to brush again to the right. And you can start, I would always suggest doing it lightly and then adding more color if you want more color. Okay. We'll put that one down. We're going to go into the red. Okay, I'm just going to tap off the beginning and we're going to start in the orange and start brushing to the right. So a little bit in the orange and brushing to the right so that it's overlapping a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going into the green. This is the garden green. Just tap off and then I'm going to start in the red. And not so much in the red because the red is just a color that will um, like bleed into and turn the green a different color. So just a little bit into the red and then that's it. Okay, now I'm going to pull this up and this is what I have. So if you wanted to, obviously you can leave that on top and do the whole paper. It's just not the look I was going for this time. So I'm just going to move that aside. If you have questions about anything I'm doing, please post those down below and I will get back to you and answer your questions for you. Um, and then you can always go to stampinontherock.com. You can send me a message that way, but you can just leave a comment below. If you're not able to leave a comment below, you can find me here, or um, if you want to email me, then it's stampinontherock at gmail.com. Stampinontherock at gmail.com if you'd like to send me an email and do it that way. So either way. All right, I'm gonna pull out the early espresso. And the stamps I'm using from that stamp set season of Chic, I'm using a leaf. And then I have two words here, I have thanks. And then I have, um, this one says, you are amazing beyond measure. Okay, all year is a good time to be thankful, but especially in this coming up with Thanksgiving, not too far away, it's just a season of thanks. So who can you thank today? I'm sure there's somebody. All right, we're just tapping. Remember, we just want to tap, tap. We're not smooshing. Just tap, tap. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can stamp off. And I'll show you the difference. That's just stamping regular. Now I'm going to tap, and then I'm going to just lightly, just lightly tap on here on my scratch paper. And let's see. I don't want to go this to go the same direction. Okay. 
let's do that. Okay, so it's coming out a little bit lighter. Can you see the difference? Mm, I don't want it to look so uniformed. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. And then we're always, it's always just nice to do one off the page. See how that one goes off the cardstock? Don't worry about the whole stamp getting on the cardstock. You want some of it to be a little off. Okay, so that one's going to be off. All right. And then I'm going to take the thanks. Let's see where do I want to put that. I wanted to put up there, but now I put the leaf in the wrong spot. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, hmm, I don't know if I like that up there. You know what? It's okay. We're going to just do this. Let's just do this. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put this here. Okay, there's my thanks. And then what I'm going to do then is on the inside of this one, I'm going to stamp, you are amazing beyond all measure or beyond measure. And I'm putting this on the inside of my card. And if you wanted to add a white layer on the inside, you can do that. I think the orange is light enough that you can still write in there. But if you want to add... Um, Add a white piece and stamp on that instead. That's fine. That one didn't come out beautiful. Um, it's Again, it's super uh, juicy. So what you could do is just ink this, stamp it lightly, not a full stamp, just tap lightly. And you're just getting off any extra ink that might be in the centers of the O or in the R and then stamp that on there. So that's not the best of stamping in there, but you know what? It happens. It's okay. Just so you guys know, I'm just, you know, I make the same mistakes you guys do sometimes. Okay. So we're going to put that on here. Let's put some adhesive on the back. Okay, I'll put this down here. There we go. And there's our card. We can leave it like that, but I'm going to add a little extra, some embellishments on here. Grab a scissors. Okay, what color do we think we should add in here? Maybe, maybe we'll do, I like the gold. The gold's really pretty. Let's do, let's do the gold. I'm going to pop some gold ones on here somewhere. And there's not really a rhyme or reason. Just, let's just, I usually tend to put them in odd numbers, but might be an old school of thought that you always have to have an odd number so don't worry about exactly that um, let's see we'll put this one here okay and that's the card for this week so if you don't have any masks um, you might want to add that to your order next time if you have a mask and you haven't used them in a while pull them out pull them out and play with them these Stampin' Blends are fantastic with or these blending brushes so sorry these blending brushes are fantastic to use with the masks um, and if you have a mask, but you, you know, maybe don't have any, some of the newer ones, add that on your list and give it a try. So that's it for this week. And, uh, again, if you like what you see, hit that like button, that thumbs up. If you know someone who might be interested in this idea, um, send, hit that share button too. That would be very much appreciated. And, uh, thanks so much for being here. Talk with you later. Bye. -bye.